Hey everyone, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra here with ASP CM O'Neill and we are at Vertra and man, I love this unit guys. And today we are going to shoot the marksmanship standards of a recent officer involved shooting on the main channel. Magtech has maintained their high quality during the ammo panic and ramped production to the max. Their ammo is the only ammo I run on the range because of its performance and reliability. I recommend Magtech wholeheartedly. So we'll put a link in the description. Um, you maybe remember it. It was out of Las Vegas. It all started as a noise complaint. <clears throat> Dude ends up coming out of his apartment uh, and pointing a rifle at officers or what looked like a submachine gun. It ended up being a BB gun, um, but of course the officers didn't know that. Nope. He pointed it at the helicopter, and then when he turned and pointed it at the officers, they had had a fast reaction team of one officer with an RMR-equipped pistol, one officer with a shotgun, but a long gun at the very least, and one officer with an iron-sided pistol. And they put some shots in that guy pretty darn quick at 20 yards. <clears throat> so what we've done is we have set a single target, an E-type silhouette. So it's a little narrower. It's not quite like a C-zone silhouette. <clears throat> um, it's a little longer than that. Skinnier than me. Yeah, but it's, but it's a little narrower, so you've got to get a good hit on it. Um, an E-type silhouette uh, out at 20 yards, which is the distance that these officers had to do that shot in. Um, they had about two and a half seconds to make that hit. We're gonna try to make it a little faster than that. Let's see if we can get hits in that speed. I do wanna say this. I'm not saying that if we can hit this standing in Vertra, that we would do a better job than the officers who were involved did because there's nobody we think is pointing a gun at us here. There's no real life stress. There's no of the cognitive loading and right. the adrenaline and the stress. We're yeah. in a relaxed environment. So I will say this, if we can't do it here, there's no way we could do it there. <laughs> right. If we can do it here, the more we ingrain those skills, then when all the cognitive loading shows up, it increases our odds of being chance. able to do the task on that day. That's all I'm saying, okay? And, and Las Vegas Metro PD, if anybody from LVMPD is watching, I think you guys lock it down. I think you guys are some of the best trained cops in the nation. And whoever your PIO is that does the, uh, the videos for the, the brief for your officer-involved shooting deserves a raise and a promotion. Let's shoot it, shall we? Yep. All right, so, so here's all we're trying to say. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm, why don't you, because you don't have a safety to worry about, right. give this a, a go button, then we'll get a, a go signal. And we're both going to say, okay, so, so at the go signal, it was the, oh no, this guy is pointing a gun at us. Right. It's time for us to do some work. So it's not who goes first or whatever. We both want to get hit a hit on this guy. Ready? Ready. Shooter ready. I love that. Stand by. All right. Neil with the 5.69 <laughs> and then uh, a .301 after that. So that's about a .86 on mine. Ooh, faster. And we got two hits there. Yep. Yeah, so we both got hits on there. Can we see where our hits were on that, Nano? So we see uh, me, uh, so Neil, you on were the first shot, hit on the bottom right. You made him mad. I was turning I, him around. I, on the other hand, put him down. Whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go again. All right, here we go again. Come on, you know we got to do this. This is my best friend. <laughs> oh. oh boy, we were real close. Uh, a a 6-9-4 first shot and 8-3-5 uh, total second shot. Let's see what we got here. Um, first shot I think was you. So you were over just on the right again. Yeah, I wonder if yeah, you're, maybe if you're seeing that, you're just pushing maybe. that over a little bit. Um, I feel pretty darn good about that hit just a little bit left to center. Yep. Okay? Um, I tell you what, time for two hits. Okay. Because we got to get two hits here because this guy may not go this down. This guy didn't um, feel like going down. I will say this. This is something that you're seeing me do. Hopefully you're hearing me do. Um, this particular gun, because I'm left-handed, is not built for me as a lefty. So what I'm doing is instead of running my hand around the gun, I'm running my thumb over here so that I can activate the safety with it. Otherwise, I would use my trigger finger. It takes me a little longer to do that. If I was set up and knew that I was about to shoot, I set up like this and set up my thumb over here. Push, pull on the rifle. Don't really need my thumb on the other side of the rifle for that. So all that to say, that's how I'm running this particular rifle. Um, because I am running the rifle when I am not made a decision to shoot. The manual safety is on. That's how we run these, right? Okay. When we come off the sights, guess what we do? Put the safety on. That's how we work. All right, dude, you ready? Say when. Two shots each. Shooter ready. Stand by. I made two pretty quick shots there. Yep. 
Uh, both of those center. Second one was a little bit lower than the first one. This gun is, is uh, sighted at um, uh, 25 yards, so it should be darn near close to on. Um, and you could see that in mine. So, Neil, I think uh, you were one got, and four. I got one and four. Okay. Yep. So, Neil, his first one was a little, little in the target, made him mad. Second one, though, whoo, that came up hard. That was his last one. Uh, those two shots, let's see, that shot two and three is uh, what, about uh, two, seven, about 0.9, and then uh, a quarter second, a two, two split. Uh, now, again, is this full recoil from an AR 15? No. Nope. Uh, is it some? Is it making my sights do things? Yeah. Well, let's try it again. All maybe right. it's a fluke. Maybe I regularly suck. Or maybe all the dry fire I've been doing matters with this rifle, yeah, with rifle. I think you suck. Okay. Well, that's good. I only had to shoot once that time. Yeah, you only did once. So I had a, um, let's see, our shot number two, uh, so 0.7, nice hit. Okay, let's see them. Okay, so shot number one, again, I think your dot must be running I a think little it bit is right, a little Neil. Up, yeah. Um, I'm super happy with those two shots at a grand total of, well, that's nine, five, one was the first shot. And then a 19 split, um, at 20 yards, uh, on an, uh, you know, a red dot equipped, uh, rifle. Am I pretty happy with a 0.19 split? I mean, I'm not Bill Blowers, uh, but I'm okay with clearly. that. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. Oh. So I'm not as old as Bill, <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. So what do you think of the Marksmanship Challenge? Dude, I think this is a lot of fun. It's very interesting to be able to come and do some things like this where we can set up a real world, world scenario, dry, quote unquote, um, and really see where we're at and get some analytics of it. This is fun and actually learning things here. I also think kind of funny. I know people say, hey, I'd rather take a long gun to a fight than a handgun. And I think there's a lot of truth there. The ballistic effect, uh, the right. terminal ballistics of a rifle are, are definitive, whereas a pistol, not as much. But when you've worked with it a lot, a pistol can be faster with a red dot than a, than a rifle. Uh, yeah. Pretty easy. Now I'll say I've got, I mean, you've got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds and dry fire presses through a red dot mounted right. uh, pistol. I'm working a lot on a rifle, um, but not nearly as much work as I have on the pistol. Right. So um, I just want to say again, thank you to Vertra. I think this is a fantastic yes. tool for law enforcement, for military. I think it is a great tool for firearms uh, range owners and for mm. those, um, honestly, most private citizens, unless you're living in a like crazy baller house where you know it's next to your bowling alley and your live fire range, you probably ain't got the money to put one of these in. But uh, for, for anybody who's running a training academy, certainly for law enforcement, uh, man, I really dig what this system can do.